Hello, good morning. This is teacher Jacob and this class is for seventh grade. Uh, today is May 31st, uh, 2021. The topic for today is our reading class. Okay, remember this class, Sara is our reading class. If you do it this exercise, you are, you are doing the homework. So don't forget, I'm doing this, I'm doing my homework, okay? If I do this exercise, it's because I'm doing my homework. So I'm doing too. So remember, every class, exam. Every class, everything you do it in the class, it's evaluating all the time, okay? Now, uh, before reading inception, we have, uh, we have two students. One is um, uh, who are uh, Juan Jose Diaz, Juan Jose Diaz, and yes. and who's the uh, Emiliano Sanchez. Okay, good. Okay. Isabella, Sofia, don't worry. No, don't worry, Isabella. Next class, you will continue. Okay. Okay, Emiliano, ready, Emiliano. Yeah, teacher. One, two, three, can uh, Emiliano, Emiliano. Questions and Juan Jose Diaz or Lorsano, the answers. How many jars have your grandfather? What? How many jars have your grandfather? Uh, mm -hmm. Listen to me. It's, it's a little confused. How many years is okay? But I think better to say, how old is your grandfather? That's perfect. My grandfather. Okay. Um, how old is your grandfather? Sixty-two. Okay. Sixty-two. Okay. How many years have your grandfather? Good. Continue. What's your mom's name? My mother's name is Laura. What? You have pets? Yes, I have two pets. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is meat. Uh, what's your grandpa name? Grand, grandfather. Grandma. Ah, grandmother. My grandmother name is, is Clara and Melia. Uh, where you live? I live in La Calera. What's your last name? My last name is Diaz. Do you have brothers? What? Do you have brothers? No, I don't have brothers. Uh, what's, what is your father's name? My father's name is Camilo. Mm -hmm. And do you have cousins? Cousin? Yeah, cousins. cousins. Yes. No, I don't have Finished. Yes. Now, Juan Jose, 10 questions to Emiliano. Okay. Mm, how are you? Uh, how are you? Mm -mm. How Repeat. Are you? How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. What's your telephone number? Uh, three one three five five zero. Uh, theory three ninety two. Do you live in La Calera? Uh, yeah. Where Where are you from? Repeat. Colombia. Excuse me. Where are you from? Yes. Colombia. Where are you from? Colombia. Okay. Do you have pets? Uh, yeah. Two bunnies and one dog. Mm. How many brothers do you have? Uh, one sister. Okay. What's your mother's name? Erika. No, your father's life in La Clara? Yeah. Uh, 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 listen, listen to the question. Live. Does your father live? Does. Does is for the question. Oh, does okay. your father live in La Clara? Yeah. Repeat, Juan Jose. Does. Does your father live in La Clara? Yeah. Your uncle have pets? 
Does, excuse me, does, does your you uncle pet smell? Do you live with your fathers? Yeah. Your parents, okay. No more. Good. Okay, so Emiliano Sanchez, you got 47. And uh, Toma, Juan Jose Diaz Olorzano, 47 too, okay? So let's go to the reading section, okay? So remember, if you do this, if you do this exercise, you are doing the homework. Keep in mind that, okay? I do this, so I'm doing the homework. Got it, this? So remember last class, we were talking about Oliver Twist, yes? This is an incredible story about uh, a boy who was in a workhouse. Workhouse is a, is a place where, or an institution where the children go when they don't have parents, when they don't have mother, they don't have father, they don't have no family, okay? Orfanatos that we call it, or bienestar familiar. Here in Colombia, we call it that. So now let's go quickly, very quickly to the reading section. And I just want to remind you uh, the importance of this uh, reading section. And it is uh, about Oliver Twist. So remember, if you do this, you are, you are doing the homework. Activity number one. So activity number one is copy this. Remember this? So copy the question yes, and answer. Finish? Yes, okay, so let's go. Teacher, what yes. is the answer of the... Sorry, teacher, no, no. Who was Oliver Twist? No, teacher, the second question. Okay. No, what se did he do? ¿Qué, qué hace él? What did he do? It, it, according to the picture, according to this, or what did he do also could be a profession. ¿Cuál era la profesión de él? I'm talking about Oliver Twist. We can say, podemos decir que él fue un niño huérfano, un niño sin hogar. He was a homeless. He was a niño sin hogar. No parents, no father, no mother. Yes, do you remember? Here, I wrote here. Uh, um, let me see if it's possible. So what did he do? Uh, he, he, he was, remember, he was, and they say homeless. Home, uh, oh my God, uh, it's complicated uh, writing. Home. Less. Homeless is niño sin casa, sin hogar. This is una O, oh, I'm sorry. Homeless. Got it? Yes? R remember? Let's go quickly. Go to. Yes, uh, okay, now. So you copy the questions and the answers. Very good. Oliver Twist. Now. Uh, let's continue with the reading section. In this reading section, I read for you activity one was to read mentally about the, this, uh, this kind of book. Of course, if you want to know this story, uh, as uh, I insist, it's possible, it's possible to go to this uh, YouTube. Are you, uh, hold on one moment. Uh, just a moment, it's coming, uh, yeah, it's coming now. Uh, are you watching YouTube? Yes. So remember, this is the story. Attention. Oh, let me say. Learn. E -A English. Chapter or? one. Chapter one. Oliver's early life. Got it. This. Are you watching? Yes. Okay. So imagine I want it just individually. Okay. Uh, le let me be a specific, uh, Mr. Araque. He wants to read the book. So he say, go to YouTube and write, learn English through Oliver Twist. 
by Charles Dickens. And he listened and read at the same time. Oliver Twist was born in a workhouse. And when he arrived in this hard world, it was very doubtful whether he would live beyond the first three minutes. Okay. Now, this is what we have to read this story. This is like a resume. It's a short story. Yes. And it's giving to you all the information. So Oliver Trace, uh, as we noted this, he was writing about Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is the writer, escritor, writer, Charles Dickens. Uh, and uh, it's about the name Oliver, who was born in Workhouse. So Workhouse, or Fanato, or here we call uh, in Colombia, Bienestar Familiar, okay? Workhouse. In England, in the year, not as the year, 1830s. His mother died when he was born. So when he born, his mother died. All right. So let's go. What I want, or oh, I want to remind you. So this boy was a very poor boy. Uh, he didn't have parents, no mother, no father, and he was to, and uh, he had to live in a house or in a place they call workhouse. And there he was born, he got problems, but after few times, he decided to escape, okay? And he escaped, well, in, in the workhouse, he was very hungry and he asked for food and the man, the general manager sold him Sold, vendió him for a businessman. Lo vendió como para que eh, fuera un obrero, a businessman, a un hombre de negocios. And this man has uh, uh, put or uh, had uh, this man uh, push him to work hard in uh, a place. And a boy, he didn't like Oliver Twist. He said, Hey, Oliver Twist, your mother is bad. Your mother is a nasty girl. Your mother is bad. Your mother, everything she said. So Oliver said, no, my mother is, it, it, it wasn't and it isn't. My mother is a good mother. And he uh, hit the boy and he ran or he escaped to London. When he was in London, he met a man. But that man was terrible. That man was bad man. Understand me when I'm talking? ¿Me entienden un poquito lo que estoy hablando? Alta, sí, sí, señor. Alta. So when he was in London, he met a man. That man was very bad. And the, the name of this man was fake. So that is the next Next page. So we notice next page. And he met a man. He was a very man. This, this man was like a very bad man. He was a, a criminal. But he got a business. He trained boys to steal. But Oliver Twist, he didn't want to steal. And one day, he, gam, gam is como, uh, here we call in Spanish, gallada o grupo. Pandilla. Pandilla, perfect. And, uh, and, and he went there and, and, and a boy steal expensive handkerchief, expensive costoso, handkerchief, puño. Uh, it calls like a uh, anuelo, but it sometimes also is pañoleta. It's possible too, okay? And uh, it was very expensive. And this man, Brownlow, he was a nice, kind, kind. This kind is a person very nice. So he was not bad. He was a good man. And he said, Oliver, I know. You are not a bad boy. 
you are excellent. So, come to my house. I help you. Okay? And that's why uh, uh, this brown law, he was a very nice. But, remember, Peggy is a criminal. But this Peggy, he has more, more tips. And one day, two boys or two bad, 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 bad men, they say, Bill, Bill is a thief, this thief. And his wife, uh, Nancy, girlfriend, he said, Nancy, they saw Oliver and took him and say, come on, Oliver, you have to go with us. Kidnap, kidnap, here is say kidnap, and uh, where is it, kidnap, where, where is it, people um, had cured him, and uh, broken house, Doreen, uh, well, so Bill Sykes is a thief, Sykes, his girlfriend is Nancy. They took Oliver to another house, yes, and uh, one more time, Oliver was in trouble. And in that house, this is the, the, the owner of the house may lie. Uh, a servant shot Oliver and Sykes escaped. It means Oliver was sick and Mr. and uh, Mrs. Millay took him, took Oliver Twist to uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Uh, the brown low, he was a good man. And finally, Mr. Brown, she said, I help you, Oliver, and decided to, uh, this, uh, decided to take your Oliver for Fagin and Mr. name, Monks. And uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Brownlow uh, held Oliver and decided to cut or to catch, catch this criminal, Fagin. But not as this. This man, Monks, he was a man, he was like a thief. He knows something. And he kidnapped, uh, here is kidnapped one more time, Oliver. But Nancy decided to say, where is, where is uh, Mr. Monks? And the police catch him and Nancy was killed, and Mr. Brown took Oliver Trist. And that is more, more or less the end of that, uh, this story. More or less, this is a resume because it's now, it's a complete story and it's, uh, well, it's a nice story. And we have time to spend on reading this. So activity one, we're gonna do several activities. Let's do it to activity one. So, suggestion. Yeah, uh, last class, we did this, correct? Last class, we did this activity, right? La clase pasada hicimos este ejercicio, correct? Right? Yes, teacher. You need to have on your notebook. Tienen que tenerlo en su cuaderno, porque la tarea. So, go quickly. So, we go now to, where is it? Go to activity two. So activity two, what is this? So my suggestion is copy this on your notebook. Copiar esto en su cuaderno, yes, and no homeworks. So attention, everybody copy this. Copy workhouse, nasty. Nasty is como uh, algo malo, okay? O sucio, o, 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 o. Uh, 
warehouse, nasty, steel, robar, expensive, costoso, handkerchief, pañuelo o pañoleta, kind, bondadoso, thief, ladrón, break into, romper, and shoot, disparar, shoot. Ok, got it this, copy, vamos copiando la tarea, entonces copiamos esas palabras. One of these words we have to put here. De acuerdo a estas palabras, la definición vamos a colocarla acá. ¿Listo? Eso es hacer tarea, profe. Entonces. Esa es la tarea. La estamos haciendo de una vez. Homework. Entonces, vamos a copiar esto. Copy. Copy quickly. Profe, ¿yo la puedo hacer en la página? Uh, on your notebook. Sí puedes hacerla, pero es que necesito que la copies en el Es que no tengo el notebook. Ah, ah ok. En el cuaderno ya ahí. Eso en el cuaderno vas a copiar tarea. Solo ese punto, reading. ¿cierto, profe? No, el punto, actividad 1 y actividad 2. Vamos, a, estamos haciendo las actividades para no tener que hacer nada más. Este lado. Yes. ¿Son las cuatro acti las actividades o solo son yes, las four, four activities. Vamos a copiar las cuatro actividades. Ok. Ok, copying. Are you copying? Voy a dar cinco minutos. Pero, o sea, eso está en el libro, ¿no? No, no, it's not on the book. No está en el libro. It's not on the book. Porque en el libro tiene que tener un código y ese código lo ingresan a la plataforma y esa plataforma lo deja entrar a la sección de lecturas. Es una lectura. It's working ¿no? class. Uh, working class. Yeah. ¿En qué página está el código? Eh, al principio del libro, ok. Uh, uh, let me help you. Entonces ya hicieron el punto uno, profe. Yes, last class. La, pro, la clase pasada hicimos eso. Friday. Oh, yeah. Friday, we, we worked on Nothing. Si quiere, puedes pedir con, la, con un informe. Ok, ok. With your Thank class you, friend. Ok, you're welcome. So copy this. Five minutes. One, two, three. Go. Cinco minutos para copiar el ejercicio. Y lo estamos haciendo entre todos. Entonces, sugerencia, copien esas palabras. Workhouse, nasty, still expensive, handkerchief, kind, thief, break into, and shoot. And then we copy this, unoffensive, unpleasant. Entonces, esta es una definición. Entonces, ¿cuál de estas puedo colocar acá? Entonces, digo, no, uh, still. Entonces, yo coloco acá still. Pero ya la vamos a hacer, ¿ok? We work. Copien primero. Copy this. Got it is? Quickly, copy. ¿Ya copiaron? No, copy. So are you copying? And the last one.
Uh, two minutes, dos minutos, empezamos. Two minutes, we start, okay? Pay attention. Finished? Oh my goodness, it's time to quickly go oh, quickly. Teacher. No? I help you. Vamos a ayudarles. Okay, let's see. Uh, workhouse, what is workhouse? Alguien sabe qué quiere decir workhouse? A place... No, yes, what is a place where poor people live and work? O sea, estas palabras tenemos que buscarle la definición. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir workhouse? Lugar de trabajo. Entonces, aquí dice a place where poor people live and work. Got it? So, we copy here. Entonces, copiamos ahí la definición. Correct? Got it, this? Yes. Okay, good. Well, uh, let's do another thing. Uh, empecemos. Alguien recuerda que quiere decir teeth? Teeth. Alguien recuerda o no? Teeth es ladrón o el que roba. Ladrón. Entonces, uh, uh, casting a lot of money. Costing a lot of money. Vale mucho? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, yes, who's, who's writing? Okay, okay, got it. Okay. So, nice and friendly generals. ¿Quién es de estas palabras? ¿Cuál es el, el amigable, el generoso? Who, who's that? Warehouse, we finished. Ya colocamos warehouse. Where is it? Warehouse. Okay, here. Uh, kind. Alguien recuerda que quiere decir kind? Okay, so kind. Nice, friendly, generals. Podría ser? Yes, kind. kind. Yes. Okay, so we write kind. Okay, good. Buscamos otra. Okay, easy. Um, a person who steals things. Una persona que roba cosas. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál sería? Steal. Teeth. Steal. Teeth. We write uh, uh, thief. El ladrón. Third. Okay. So here we write here. Got it? Oh, let me see better. I think it's better this. I think we can take this. 
Okay, here. Here, okay. So we write thief. Okay, well, uh, another expensive. Alguien recuerda que quiere decir expensive? Caro, no? Yes, costoso, dice. Uh, what, what do you think about this? Uh, discharge a bullet from a gun? Descargar o disparar una, una, una bala? No, creo shoot. que eso no. Shoot, uh, yes, I shoot. Okay, so here we write shoot. Okay, so here we write shoot. Good, so, so teeth here, uh, workhouse here. And uh, kind uh, here we write kind and uh, still still do we write still no oh to take still is robot yes still where is it. Take things. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Yes, that's right. Uh, expensive. We have this, 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 or this. Cost a lot of money. Costing a lot Cost of money. Costing a lot of money. Expensive. Lo que vale costoso, lo que vale mucha plata, costing a lot of money. And then we have handkerchief and break into. We have to enter illegal, illegally. Break into. Break into. Break into. Break into. Break into. To enter illegally. Yes, break into is enter illegally. O sea, como meterse o como ingresar sin permiso. Break into. Ingresar, romper dentro, pues sería como ingresar. Okay. And finally, handkerchief is a piece of a clothes food. that people use to clean their face and nose. What is this? ¿Qué quiere? ¿Alguien handkerchief. Saque? Handkerchief. El pañuelo. Handkerchief. Correct. And finally, nasty. Una cosa desagradable. O, o sea, cuando son groseros, mejor dicho, o ofensivo. Nasty son como groserías, cosas ofensivas. So, do you copy? Copiamos la segunda? Do you copy? Yeah. All right. Okay, don't worry. As los que hacemos esto, homework, ya lo hicimos en la tarea. Okay, homework, no more homework. O oh sea, my... que la tarea es la actividad que hicimos el viernes y esta. Es que uh, no hemos terminado las, cuando terminemos las cuatro actividades o tres actividades, ya hicimos la tarea. Todavía oh. no la hemos hecho. Ah, o no sea, hemos... llevamos solo dos. Sí, perfecto. Sí, per very good. Mañana vamos Pero... a tener grammar. Ya. Yeah. Ok, so hold on one moment. Hasta ah, ahí okay, vamos yo... a dejar, porque voy a llamar lista a I don't have right now. Sí, el profe oh. pensaba que le vas a poner ya y yo dije, uy. <risas> no, todavía no. Pero ya sabemos que estamos haciendo la tarea, ¿no? Entonces, con yeah, eso yeah. cuando nos diga homework, pues ya sabemos que tarea y ya. Tarea en clase. ¿Quién las hizo? Entonces, tenemos el cuaderno como que nos respalda que hicimos la tarea. Homework. Um, I'm gonna, Isabela Baez, she isn't, ella no ingresó. Uh, ella no ingresó. Uh, Rachel, si estaba. Néstor Camargo. Present Cam teacher. Ok. Juan Andrés Cárdenas Zambrano. Present teacher. Isabel Sofía Guevara. Present teacher. Daniel Esteban Parra. Quickly. Daniel Esteban. Esteban. María Camila Rodríguez. María Camila Rodríguez, ¿no? María Camila está, no ingresó. Juan Pablo Segura Reyes, eso. María Camila Telles, eso. Yes, ellos sí los vi, yes. 
Let's go to, es que ya se va a acabar el tiempo. The time is over. Mañana tenemos another class, different class. Tomorrow is grammar. Mañana vamos a tener clase de gramática, ¿ok? Sí, Sin embargo, okay. hay, unos, hay unos estudiantes que deben de estudiar para el examen, ¿no? Los que no han hecho, Daniel Felipe Briseño, Matías Ayerbe, Paladines. Hay que estudiar para el examen las preguntas, ¿listo? Hay varios que me yes, faltan. Sí, Oh my goodness, let's seven B. Seven B is at Shannon, for I be at Shannon. Shannon, are you there? Present, present. Juan Esteban Araque, you're Manuela Arias. Yes, I saw her. Present. Okay, Tomas Cardona. Present. Juan Diaz Solorzano, lo vi también. Jerónimo Lara, no sé si no lo vi. Jerónimo Lara. Jerónimo. Present. Ok, Sara Manuela López, ahí está Manuela, Present. Manuela Medina, Present, Miguel Ángel Quitian, y ahí está Miguel Ángel, yes, Dalia Salome también, Sánchez Emiliano hizo el examen también, ok. Let's go to the other. Uy, tengo que ser rápido porque si no se nos. Oh my goodness, la embarré aquí, oh my goodness. This is. Oh my goodness, vamos con séptimo C. Uy, que no. De séptimo C, ¿quién se me fue ahorita? Hello, ok. De aquí ayer vino, sí. Presente, profe. 